In this video, we present a perceptive locomotion pipeline composed of a raw body model predictive controller and a mixed integer footstep generator. We focus on local monitoring of the environment and motion generation encountered in autonomous legged navigation. Here is a brief summary of the capabilities that our perceptive pipeline enables. It allows the robot to detect small surfaces of contact and generate precise footstep location, which are needed to traverse such obstacles. Additionally, it enables the animal robot to cross a step of 34 cm on a staircase with an average slope of 30 degrees. We decompose our perceptive locomotion architecture into several sub-problems that are easier and faster to solve than solving a large nonlinear problem to handle multi-contact scenarios. In those scenarios, the robot needs to select a surface of contact from a wide range of options, which represent a combinatorial problem to be solved in real time. Concretely, our high-level planner, called surface selection here, selects the next surfaces of contact. Then, our collision-free trajectory generator computes each moving edge effector separately. Finally, our whole body MPC generates the entire motion at 50 Hz. We will now review the different components, starting with the perception. Regarding the perception system, here is an example of how terrain elevation is filtered in real time. From the heat map and the initial convex planes, the line in black on the video, we extract new convex planes that are safe to walk on, the lines in color in the video. This entire process runs at 1 Hz. At the beginning of every step, another mix integer optimization is started and it will decide the next surface of contact for the next swinging foot. This planning process runs from 3 to 5 Hz depending on the selected gate of locomotion. To reduce computing time, we consider only the surfaces inside the range of motion, which is defined by the green area on the right. Once the surface of contact has been attributed, the foot trajectory is continuously updated at 50 Hz. This is done via a quadratic program that deforms a reference polynomial curve while avoiding the edges of the objects. As you can see on the left picture, the trajectory is pushed away from the obstacle. Finally, the whole body MPC generates the robot motion at 50 Hz and computes local feedback policies that runs at 400 Hz. This nonlinear optimal control problem considers the robot's full dynamics and actuation limits, which is solved with an advanced solver based on differential dynamic programming. This allows us to ensure balance and feasible motion while pushing the animal robot limits. Our optimal control formulation aims to track uh, the reference swing foot trajectories computed by our collision-free footstep planner. On this experiment, the animal robot reaches its torque limit when crossing the large gaps, which is 40 newton meters as indicated in the plot. We assessed our perceptual locomotion pipeline through various experiments. On the left, a long experiment consisting of climbing up and down this industrial staircase with onboard perception. On the right, an obstacle is added in the middle of the experiment. It takes a few iterations of the 8-map algorithm, hence around 2-3 to three seconds to detect the new obstacle. Once the walkable surface is detected, the robot is able to safely walk and traverse the parkour. Additionally, we perform experiments without relying on onboard terrain perception. The goal is to evaluate only the ability of our planning and control architecture when crossing complex obstacles.
Finally, we evaluated our architecture and simulation with various experiments. One of these simulations is a random set of stepping stones, which the animal robot can cross with a dynamic trotting gait. The other ones are taken from the ICRA 2023 challenge, which represents an excellent benchmark environment to evaluate the capabilities of our perceptive locomotion pipeline. Thank you for watching.